And when I'm telling y'all this, this works for me. What I'm telling y'all may not work for you. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a hundred. Okay. I'm gonna keep it a hundred and two to be exact. <laughs> okay. You're a business owner. Act like it. <laughs> we ain't doing no shit coming over here. Okay. We ain't for the social. <laughs>
And I also provide 10 milliliter squeeze tubes as well. I will be providing the 10 milliliter um, brush black tubes very soon as well. Um, Cause I have people asking for those. Those are coming. Just be patient with me. Also, I'm gonna um, also look into wholesaling hair as well. Cause a lot of babes ask me, do I wholesale hair, lashes, all of that. So I'm gonna get my numbers together and I'm gonna make it happen for y'all, okay? Period. Like y'all know I always make it happen for y'all. Y'all ask, I got you, okay? So in order to see like revenue that you're wanting to see, you want to make sure that you have taken all the necessary steps in order to have a successful business. You know what I'm saying? You wanna have a website. There's so many businesses that I see on Instagram or just, you know, a lot of people are wanting to start businesses or come into the entrepreneur world and they don't, a lot of people are wanting to start businesses and they don't even have a website together or any of that. Your main, your top priority is a website. That's the main part of having a business. Now, if you have a storefront, cool. But if you're trying to sell online, you need a you need a website, not just sell through Instagram. That's not. If you don't take yourself serious, no one is going to take you serious. You need a website. Websites, you can create your own website for free. I also create websites as well. If you want a fancy website like mine, I got you. Just you know, hit me up. Well, don't hit me up directly, it's on the website. So just go purchase that and I got you. Let me know what you're looking for and I'll put it together. But you want a website. You don't want to have everybody DMing you or asking you how much is this, how much is that. And you don't want to be sending invoices and just be professional. You want to be professional at all times when it comes to your business. Make sure before you even launch a business, you have your website together and ready to go. No one wants to ask you, okay, how much is this? But nobody wants to send their shipping information to your DM. Be professional about this. Make a website. Create a website. I said you can still you can you can create it yourself. It doesn't have to be fancy when you first start. You'll get into all that. When I first started, my website was not fancy. It was kind of all over the place, but I made it work. Like if I, for for instance, if I had if I didn't have a website right now and I was just taking orders through DM, I would be all over the place. Like because I get so many orders daily. I wouldn't be able to keep up. I have to print out receipts. I have to see it. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm shipping out orders, I print out every single receipt that I'm about. I print out every single order. I print out their receipt and I set it out on a table. And I make sure I have it laid out to where I know exactly what I need to get ready, but exactly what I need to that what needs to be shipped. So I lay it out. And with Instagram, you can't do that. You can't print out like with, with Instagram, you can't do that. You want, okay, like I said, you just want to be professional about this, okay? Just be totally professional about your business, okay? You're a business owner. Act like it. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I'm not, I'm not playing. I'm for real. But I don't want y'all to take it as like I'm, I'm being like rude to y'all or I'm trying to like make y'all feel some type of way. I'm just being a honey with y'all. That's, that's it. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a honey. Okay, I'm gonna keep it 102 to be exact. <laughs> so make sure you have a website before you even launch a business. Have a website, brand name, logo, be ready for them, okay? In order to, like I said, bring in that revenue that you're wanting to see, you wanna make sure that you're always stocked up on your products. You wanna make sure you have enough supplies. If you're running out of supplies constantly, you're gonna have to keep putting money into getting your supplies constantly. Like I said, I've been there before. So that's why I'm telling y'all, you wanna make sure you stock up. Once you stock up, that's when you see the revenue coming in. If you're selling lip gloss, you wanna make sure you're stocked up on your base. You wanna make sure you're stocked up on the pigments you use. You wanna make sure you're stocked up on your oil, your syringes, because if you run out of that product, if you run out of that product, then you have to order it and then you have to wait to receive it and then you're probably losing out on more sales. You wanna get your, your, your orders out in a timely manner because if not, then you won't have returning customers because they're gonna be upset. They're gonna be like, okay, she took this long here. She took this long to ship out my order the first time. I'm gonna go to someone else that's faster. Always, always give your customers a time frame as well so they'll know, okay, if it takes, if it takes you seven to 10 
if it takes me seven to ten business days to receive my order and I want to ship my order, I want to and I want to launch my new my new glosses on, you know, Valentine's Day. They need to know to make sure they purchase the, at, the, at the beginning of February. So they'll make sure they receive it in a timely manner. But going back to, to basically having your products, having your products and your supplies stocked up because you want to get it out in a timely manner. For instance, you can miss out on sales like that if you don't have your, your if you're not stocked up on your products. And the reason I say that is because that same customer that ordered from you probably wants to order from you again. She wants to back door and order again after she has sold 30 of her tubes. Let's say she orders 50 tubes from you, right? She receives them and she sells 30. So she needs to order again from you within the next week. She's gonna order it again with you because you, you shipped out her order within a timely manner. So she's gonna go back to you and order again. I've had it happen to me. So that's why you wanna get your orders out in a timely manner. So your customers can go ahead and sell and come back to you and order more so they can sell and come back to you. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm doing this? Revenue, 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 revenue. Sell, 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 okay? And what I'm telling y'all, this, this works for me. What I'm telling y'all may not work for you. I'm just gonna give y'all some tips on what I do. Now, what I'm doing might not work for you. Like, a lot of people don't understand that. Like, some people, people comment on my videos and they have this stuff, all this stuff to say. When I let y'all know in every video, what works for me may, may not work for you. It may not work for you. So always have a backup plan, you know? Just like when you're wanting to go into starting a business and you see somebody else being successful from their business, so you want to do exactly what they're doing to see if you're going to be, become successful as well. You may not get the same results, boo. You have to have a passion for what you do. See, you see what I'm saying? See, I'm getting off track, so let me just refer here, okay? Um, so, like I said, you want to remain consistent. Always remain consistent. Post every single day. Why, the reason I say you want to post every single day is because you want to gain, you want to gain followers to your business page. Your followers from your business page will eventually transfer to your website, okay? It's gonna cause traffic to your website. I had 28,000 people visit my website from, was it October 8th through November 4th? I'm gonna post it up here, but 28,000 people, y'all, within a month on my website, okay? But like I was saying, when you have a when you when you're gaining followers on your business page and you're you're increasing the amount of followers you have that's also going to increase your revenue because when someone sees that you have all of these followers on your instagram account they're going to want to head over to your website and once they head over to your website they're going to see that they have that you have something that they might be interested in and they're going to purchase now you don't have to have a lot of followers starting out but you do want to you do want to eventually try, you, you want to continue to try to grow your business page. That's not something that you just want to, social media is a free marketing tool. Social media is amazing. Like social media got me to where I am today with my business. YouTube, Instagram, you know? So you, run, you want to take full advantage of this while it's here. Okay, now like I was saying before I was interrupted by Mama Bougie, when someone notices that you have a lot of followers on your page, once you, hit, when you, once you have that K, it just changes people's mindset, okay? But, like I said, um, once they see that you have a decent amount of followers, they're going to be like, okay, what's so interesting about this person's um, products? They're going to head on over to your website and see what you sell and what you offer, and they're going to want to purchase as well. So it is nice to have a lot of followers on Instagram. So you want to work towards that. That's not something that you just want to put off. You want to take full advantage of social media. Okay? You want to make sure that you can you you want to you want to try your hardest to grow your you want to try your hardest to grow your business page on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or whatever else. You want to make sure that you're putting in the work to try to increase your following amount. So that way you can bring, so that way you can bring traffic to your website, basically. Um, so now, like, I've hit, I hit um, 10K, I think last week, but now, today, right now, which is November 6th, I'm at 11.1K. So, I'm very excited. I'm so happy that I've, I worked so hard. I started from zero followers all the way to 11.1K. 
all by myself. I, 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 I hit 900 followers on, I looked, I, and I, I hit 900 followers in March, I think. I think it was March. I hit 900 followers in March, and then now I'm at 11.1K. So it, it, it takes time. But as long as you remain consistent and post every single day, it will happen. I'm telling y'all, it will happen. Because I was in the same position that a lot of other people are in right now, struggling to grow their business page. I'm going to put y'all on a tip real quick, and then I'm going to get back into this. Um, if you want, like I said, this worked this work for me. You can do giveaways every at, a th at, at every 1,000 followers you hit. That's what I did, and that's one thing that really, really, really increased my following. Like, I'm not going to even lie. That increased my following a lot. Now, if you don't want to give away free stuff, don't do that. But that's what I did. And now, today, it it all it all paid off, you know? So, and you don't have to give away free, like, expensive, like, free expensive stuff. Like, I was giving away squeeze tubes or wand tubes. What else did I give away? I gave away a t-shirt, a pair of shoes, stuff like that, you know? Just have fun with your... Have fun with your followers. And also, once you do your giveaways, have them tag friends as well. So, their friends can follow you. Duh. So, yeah, like I said, sales increased more as my followers increased on my business page. The goal to run a business is to never sell out. You don't want to ever sell out. It's not cool to sell out, okay? I'm sold out with stuff right now, and it's terrible because... When you're sold out on products, then your customers can't buy the product that's sold out because you have it sold out. So you wanna make sure you're always stocked so sales can keep coming in. If you're sold out, no revenue, no sales. So try to keep your website stocked up. The goal is to never sell out, okay? The goal is to never sell out. That's what Super Six said, and I agree 100%. The goal is to never sell out. Like I said, you sell out, you're missing out on sales. Once that product is sold out, somebody sees it, they're wanting to purchase it, but they can't because you have it on the site that's sold out. So always, always, always try to remain stocked up. And that ties in with always having enough product and supplies. Okay. So basically I made 5,000, let me go through it to the part y'all been waiting for. Let me log into my PayPal real quick so I can get the exact number for y'all because we ain't doing no shit with coding over here, okay? We ain't for the social. <laughs> so I made exactly $5,788 in a month. And I'm about to show y'all that. I mean, I can insert a picture too, but I, mm, I just insert it. I'll just insert a picture. So y'all can see it closer, so I don't have to just like be trying to show y'all on that top. So I made $5,788 um, from October 1st to October 31st. Um, with, in two weeks, I made like $2,900. Like the first two weeks of October, I made $2,900. And then the remaining, I made the rest of the $57. So I'm trying to see, hold on. Compared to my last year, is it going to show me? It shows me on my phone. That's why I don't like. I don't like this. I don't like this on the computer. Oh, and it's showing me I had two in the month of October. I had two um, international orders. I had two orders from the UK, and then the remaining of my orders were from the US. Compared to last year, last year I made one eighty-eight. I believe. Like I said, I'm gonna put the screenshot up here so y'all can see. But last year, in a month, I made $188. This year, I made $5,700. So, 
that's a huge, 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 huge deal right there. Cause you can just tell like, I've worked so hard to be where I am today. And it's not even where I want to be. Like, this is just the beginning. Like, I want that to say 50,788 in a month, okay? That's what it needs to say. But I'm good with this for now because, like I said, last last year it was $188. So I've, I've increased tremendously. You see what I'm saying? I've grown tremendously. And at all times I'm being consistent. I've been consistent since day one. Since day one, okay? Consistency is key. I always tell you that. That's the number one thing. If you come to my seminar I'm having in January, not January, but in 2020, sometime, probably around the summertime, I'm going to tell y'all the number one key to success is consistency. You have to stay consistent, okay? Y'all don't get tired of me saying it, but y'all going to see it. Y'all gonna see why I always say that. So yeah, like I said, I made like 2,902 weeks of October, the first two weeks of October, and then the rest I made the remaining of the 5788. So that's 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 good. That's amazing compared to last year. So um, and then y'all always ask me how do I pay my mother or do I pay myself? I pay myself and I pay my mother, but we get a certain percentage. We don't take all of that money, okay? We, we take a percentage, okay, we take a little bit, we do a little something, and then we put the rest back into our business, okay? You don't want to use all of that for you, like for personal expenses. Put it back into your business, and you'll see more and more revenue, okay? You don't want to, you don't want to take, like, for instance, if you made 57 88 in a month, you don't want to take... 4900 of it and put it in your account and think it's just yours. Don't do that. Okay? At least not right now. You gotta wait. Okay? You gotta make sure this is consistent. Okay? Because I I, I feel like mine is consistent because every month my um every month my monthly revenue goes up for my business. So right like last month, October, I made 59, I mean 57, 88 or whatever it was. I made that. I think next month it's gonna go up like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I probably love about a thousand, two thousand dollars. So it might be next month. It might be um, next month. It might be well, this month it might be like seven k or eight k. So I'm excited to see what November brings, y'all. It's the beginning of it's the beginning of November, and I'm I'm just working on November. I'm trying to y'all know how they say Stacktober. Stack November, stack December, that's what it is, okay? I can't wait to see what this month brings. In all, I would say I've made about $10,000 from June, from when I started to to now, to, to, yeah, to the end of October, so June. So four months, within four months, I've made about 10,000, just selling the block. So that's not bad, it could be better. Um, it could always be better. You always want to reach for the stars. You don't want to be content. So like I said, this is good, but it could be way better. Um, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I'm, I love y'all so much. Thank you for shopping with me. Thank you for choosing the Barbie, okay, to do your wholesale and all of that. I appreciate y'all. But yeah, so I made about 10000 strictly just selling lip gloss. Um... I still do sell other stuff. I still have been shipping out a few hair orders. I'm having a hair sale. Um, I have, I'm having a hair sale Black Friday. And oh, another thing I want to tell y'all is when another way to see revenue go up or to see sales come in is always be creative. Always, you know, try to drop something new every now and then. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just keep the same stuff. It gets boring. Trust me, it gets boring. Because a lot of stuff on my website, I'm tired of seeing it. I cannot wait until Black Friday because I'm dropping new tubes. Um, I'm dropping... I'm not going to even tell y'all what I'm dropping because I don't want nobody to steal my ideas. You know what I'm saying? Me and Mama Bougie, we've been talking about what we dropping for Black Friday. We're dropping new tubes and we're dropping something else. And then the beginning of the year, we're dropping some more stuff. I'm also going to tell y'all a secret. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all all of the secret, but... I will be starting, I will be opening, well, launching my second business in April. 
I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. I'm gonna see if y'all can guess. Um, Bougie Barbie collection is BBC number one. We're gonna have a BBC number two. So can you put those little acronyms together? Put that together and see what you come up with. And see what you come up with. Because BBC number two launching in April, okay? Um, yeah, so BBC number one is Bougie Barbie collection. And we're gonna have BBC number two. And I'm not gonna throw any hints. I'ma just see if y'all can put something together or whatever. But like I said, BBC number two will launch in April. So I'ma have businesses, okay? Period. And then I'm also, after BBC number two launch, I'ma have another business as well. I'm thinking about, you know, it's just it's just a lot that I'm, I'm really like putting into play right now. Like I said, I, I got a lot going on because it's a lot I wanna do. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sorry for abandoning you guys. I did abandon you guys for about two, three, almost a month. No, about two weeks. And I was like, oh, I need to drop videos. So I'm back and I'm here to stay and I hope you guys are here to stay with me as well. So... Thank you for being part of Bougie Crew, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bougie Babes.